Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope that you're all having a blessed day so far. Let me know, how are you feeling? How's everyone feeling? I'm going to be taking a look at what's manifesting for you, what's going on in your current situation with you and person that's on your mind if any so whenever you do come across this reading it will be the right time for you to see it but as always take what resonates and leave out the rest if you are interested in a personal reading done by myself I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. All right. Someone swept you off your feet. I'm saying that we have the Knight of Cups. Somebody was swept off their feet in the past here. Somebody made a love offer. I'm hearing um, romantic proposals. Someone was very romantic, chivalry. But this was a karmic relationship. I'm seeing fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. You felt like you were swept off your feet by this person. And... You opened up your heart to this situation and I see that you are being very patient. You gave compassion to this. I see you are being very compassionate and caring to this person and others around you. Um, but you were hurt, right? I'm seeing a pattern of like hurting. You, you got over it. But the, I'm hearing scars. It's like you got over it, but the scar is, is still there. It left you with something to look back on. It left you with, with a lesson. And you saw the person around you as I'm seeing the Empress reversed. Stunted. I'm hearing stunted. This person was a... You saw them as being like disconnected or not really there. It's like they were there, but not really. You didn't see the growth. You didn't see um, any changes when it comes to their emotions or the, their feelings. It's like they were unaware. They were unaware of what they had or unaware of what you were trying to give them. And rejected. They may have rejected you in the past. Or you felt that way by them. So let's take a look at you right now. I'm seeing self-indulgence. You're focusing on yourself and your self-work. You're taking time to heal, doing shadow work, self-appreciation. It's like you're digging deep into yourself. The parts of yourself that are in the shadow, the emperor reverse. This is like the parts of ourself that are, are corrupt or have been um, corrupt over over the years you know as humans we go through a lot and it changes us and it's like you're trying to get to the bottom of something within yourself but you're not closed off you're not emotionally closed off. I'm seeing that for some of you, you may be, you're, you're judging yourself. You judge yourself more than other people judge you. And it's because I'm seeing you being really hard on yourself. Hard on yourself for the actions or things that have happened, things that you've done in the past. I'm hearing triggers. You were triggered. This karmic relationship triggered you in some way. 
or karmic relationships in the past that have triggered you in some way where now you're starting to look deeper into yourself you're looking at a situation like it's not changing and you're trying to make changes by going within yourself you're standing your ground standing your ground and being very protective over what you've accomplished and how uh, all you you went a long way let me just say that you've gotten a long way you've accomplished a lot and it's like you're in this position now where you feel like you're under attack or some someone is is coming in and it triggers you in some way where you feel like you need to protect yourself or you need to stand your ground trying to maintain yourself there's someone around you that you see as a lover you see this person as someone who you have a connection with you have a close relationship with soulmates on some level whether it's a friend or a lover there's someone around you who you feel like is a soulmate. You feel like there's there's something close, a close bond between you two. Um, but there's a love triangle. I'm seeing... Needing to let go of something from the past. Or a person from the past. Let's take a look at the person that's on your mind. If you don't have anyone on your mind, someone showing up in your energy. Someone who you may know. Could possibly be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, but doesn't have to be. All right. There, I see right now, this person is, is almost like mirroring you in some way. You're both focusing on yourself. They're spending time with their friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. This person feels like there's a, a passionate beginning between you two. They feel like there's... A spark and it scares them. They feel like you're confused. Two of swords reversed. They feel like at some level you you're you don't know what you want when it comes to a partnership or when it comes to a, a big decision. You two are both making a decision making a judgment they also have judgment so it's like you two are both kind of looking within at at some level decision they want to make a decision here but they've given up i'm seeing this person has given up on someone or Maybe you feel like they've given up on you. Secrets. Wanting to reveal a secret decision that they're making. I see them wanting to communicate. So let's look at the near future. You're making some sort of plan here. I'm hearing just in case. Precautions, taking precautions. Okay. There's there's some sort of um, opportunity that I see you you rushing towards. King of Wands. We have the Chaser. I'm hearing I will, like I will get what I want, or I, it's like you're pursuing something. I see you pursuing something, a chaser in a codependent relationship, uh, re fear of abandonment issues, fears, eight of swords. This is being in your head and overthinking the worst. It's like you put yourself in a position because, uh, in a position to chase or to pursue because there's fears 
that if you don't, it will slip away. I'm seeing seven of cups, which is you having other options. You having other options, but there's one in particular that you're like, but this is what I want. So the person around you, they're showing you a new level of passion towards you. Ace of Wands, a new beginning towards you. Just as you take action towards them, I see this person taking action. Taking a chance towards the unknown, towards a possibility here of moving something forward. But it kind of looks like this person isn't isn't as serious as you. They're showing up as a fool. They're not matching you on some sort of level. You know that saying, we want the things that we can't have. It's like you see something as a big shiny object. And it makes you, you chase after it. So, but once you do that... It puts you in a position to chase and it puts the other person, the person in a position to run. If you're chasing, there has to be a runner instead of attracting. So let's take a look at the outcome. We have the Knight of Wands, which is impulsive, impulsive action. Someone... Someone takes... An impulsive impulse decision to an opportunity that really isn't isn't worth it I'm seeing ace of pentacles reverse something that isn't being given or isn't going to be worth it for you and it makes you wonder it makes you question a lot feeling lost because there's a lack of commitment but this person I see someone staring watching you keeping tabs looking gaslighting perception focusing out there this person is is all reversed it's like there's something internally that they still need to work on as well the inability to communicate towards you or to have a mature conversation, something that's not growing. And you don't you just don't see them putting in the effort or putting in the work in. I'm hearing triggered, triggers you. Let's get some oracle cards and get some more details for you all. Butterflies may be synchronistic for some of you. Monarch butterflies. Okay. Like I said earlier, you've accomplished a lot. You could be very privileged because of what you've worked really hard towards. I'm seeing privilege lately. Or there's someone here who's privileged in the past. Right now... You're starting to look at a different path. There's something that you see as a long journey or a long path for yourself. You see that there's another person or there's someone around you, poverty, who's lacking in some way financially possibly or struggling financially. I see you being very deep in your thoughts. Some, there's some, uh, Overthinking, I'm seeing overthinking things that triggers, triggers you. And the outcome, 
it won't bring you the happiness that you that you deserve chasing this thing or chasing this person that is running is not going to bring you um, emotional fulfillment. I'm seeing you're doing a lot of work on yourself, right? So why, why go backwards is what I'm hearing. For some of you, this is something that you need to hear. But with that being said, the numbers I see here is 12, 37, 35, 16, and 32. With that being said, this is what I'm seeing. If it resonated, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want. Um, it helps me out and it helps the channel. And I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.